For this ghost stealth guide, I'll be walking through memory block 2 of Assassin's Creed 1. The targets are Garnier and Talao. Let's start off with the Assassinate Garnier mission in Acre. Once you get into the city, just start going to the viewpoints to reveal nearby investigations. For this mission, you will want to reveal the eavesdrop and pickpocket investigations. These missions are located at the northwest and southern part of the poor district as shown in the map. Just synchronize with the nearby viewpoints if you are having trouble finding them. AC1 investigations are really nothing special, so we won't talk about them much. Just note that for the pickpocket investigation, the entrances to the area are guarded. You won't be able to go through from the ground without killing guards. So you'll need to climb to the rooftops and find a hole. But make sure to be careful so that the rooftop guards don't see you. If they do, they'll become hostile and you'll fail your ghost stealth attempt. After successfully pickpocketing the target, simply go back up to the same hole. Again, be careful so that the guards won't detect you and become hostile. To get into the monastery where Garnier is, you'll need to climb through the side and into the front yard. In a normal playthrough, getting inside the monastery is easy. If the player saves this nearby citizen, Doing so will spawn monks nearby the monastery which Altair can use to blend in and enter the building undetected. However, since this is a ghost stealth guide, the way to go is to climb up a scaffolding and into this roof. Make sure that the guards do not see you. Slowly make your way to the center while being aware of your surroundings. Once you get into this spot, simply climb down. The cutscene will start once you hit the ground. After the cutscene, Altair will be free to roam around the area. There's really no need to blend. Just make sure that you don't stand too close to guards or to Garnier. Also, try to avoid the crazies. They can accidentally throw you near a guard which will turn them hostile. Since you will get detected right after the assassination, the best spot to do the deed is here. As I've said in one of my previous videos, this spot allows for an easy and quick escape. Additionally, if you are going to do the detection glitch where you let yourself get killed after the assassination to reset the exposed status and remain undetected, this spot is still the best since there are no guards that could see you when you respawn. For the escape, simply run up to the ceiling and into this hole. If you're going to do the exposed status reset glitch, you can climb over the wall and walk to the stairs. You can escape through the same hole. Note that guards won't detect you if you are climbing stairs while in low profile mode. However, they will detect you if you start climbing in high profile. Once out, one of the safest ways to remain undetected is simply staying on the ground. Doing this will allow you to run even when there are nearby guards. Just don't sprint. I found that the ground is safer since the poor district seems to have a lot of low roofs which makes it easy for guards to see you even when you have the high ground. And since standing on rooftops can be considered a high profile action, the chances of you getting detected is high. So just stay on the ground and you'll go through the Garnier mission without a problem. The next mission is the Assassinate Talal mission in Jerusalem. Similar to the Garnier mission, use the viewpoints to reveal investigations. You want to reveal the informer flag challenge and pickpocket investigations. Here they are on the map. These missions are located in open spaces and there's really no challenge there. So let's move on. The best entry point to the area is through the western side. Look for a corner with a ladder as shown here. Climb the ladder and jump across. After this, you're already inside the area. Just make your way to the waypoint but make sure to avoid the guards on the rooftops. Once you enter, you'll be in a trap. As such, there's really not much ghosting involved here since Talal saw you coming. After the cutscene, what I like to do is climb to the shed. This will initiate Talal's escape. Then I just jump to the chandelier and make my way to the escape hatch. Once out, quickly parkour through the roof and sprint towards Talal. To assassinate him while on the roof, you need to be quick. Make sure to target him as soon as you can and press assassinate. This will allow you to take him down fast. For the escape, simply climb to the building in front of you and do a leap of faith into a haystack. When doing this, make sure to check your surroundings first before coming out. Guards are very likely to walk past the haystack and they will detect you instantly if they see you. Also, note that the glitch where you reset the exposed status by dying doesn't work here. Or at least if you assassinate Talal on the roof. Because there's just a lot of guards around. It may be possible to do it if you assassinate him in a different spot without guards around. Once you're far away from that area, it should be safe to walk or run even when there are guards nearby. Just don't do any high profile action like jump or sprint. 
Unlike in the poor district in Acre, it is safe to use the rooftops in Jerusalem to get to the bureau. Just make sure you stay away from the rooftop guards. Thinking it's low here should let you ghost the mission without issue. Just return to Malik and finish Memory Block 2. With that, the Garnier and Talal Ghost Stealth Guide is done.